is just a couple weeks away. Aberdeen Mall has some great <laughs> events planned. We have Bryn Gies joining us on the show today with details of that and some other events as well. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, we'll talk Halloween last. How about that? Yep, sounds good. Um, but you guys have a bunch of neat uh, events going on for the next little bit. We do. So uh, coming up this Sunday, the 23rd, um, it's our second annual recycling event that we're doing. So it's just our little part to help keep stuff out of the landfill. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, we just strictly did electronics with Best Buy. Um, and this year, we're elevating a little bit. So um, we are doing electronics again. So if anybody has TVs, computers, laptops, um, broken alarm clocks, hair dryers, anything like that that is no longer working or you just no longer need and don't want, bring them up to us. Best Buy will take them and they get shipped back down to Vancouver for proper disposal so oh. it keeps it out of the landfill. So take them directly to Best Buy? Uh, we're going to be in the Best Buy parking lot. Okay. So Best Buy will be out there with us with a big container that will be taking everything in. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and so that's taking place this coming? This Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. What time? 11 to 3. Good to know. Good to yeah. know. You know everybody has something. I've got an old monitor I should bring in. I've got a few things. It's yeah. good to get rid of them properly. It is. And you feel good after you get you rid do. of it too. <laughs> yeah, you do. Your house is suddenly a little bit less cluttered. Yeah. Um, as well. We've got a couple of charts that we could show as well. Here we go. Go Bananas. Yes. Yeah. So this fun. is our exciting new Addition that we're adding to this year. So there's a company in Kelowna, it's a mom and daughter, and uh, they have a shop there and they are partnering with us and they actually, this is what they do, they take uh, old bras, so whether they're like the super saggy old ones that just don't fit anymore. The super saggy ones, <laughs> yeah, we have some here. I think, I think everybody them. has them, right? Or the ones that, you know, you've grown out of, either they just don't fit anymore or you bought them and then you wonder, why did I buy them? Oh, and yeah. like, we all have those. So yep. if they're sitting in your drawer and you don't know what to do with them, bring them to us on Sunday. Uh, the ladies will be there collecting it. And then in addition to the bras, they are also taking like nightwear, like lingerie. Um, so if you have some of that, sorry guys, I know it's a little bit disappointing, but sometimes they just don't fit anymore <laughs> <laughs> or you just don't want it. So um, if you have those sitting in your drawer, they'll take those as well. Okay. And same as robes and also just your pajamas. So they'll okay. take the materials. If they're if they're not good quality that they can just clean and touch up, they'll just take parts of the materials and either make something new or add and That's create, awesome. create like a Frankenstein bra or something. Sure. And uh, the, the products that are donated and are refurbished will go back into the local community to a local women's shelter. Right. So which I think is great. And even if you have a bra that's not in great shape, like they might take pieces from it, like the underwire yeah. or the straps. and Absolutely. Something else. So even if they're not in the best shape, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So okay. bring them on up. Um, it'll be great to have all that stuff coming in. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. um, and then besides this, we also are taking uh, generally used clothing. So big brothers, big sisters will be up there. Um, so if there's anybody that has clothing or jackets or kids' clothing, stuff that you've just been sitting that you just don't want anymore, bring it on up. Uh, we'll take those and it benefits Big Brothers Big Sisters. And then we also have K-Cup. So we've been doing K-Cup recycling um, at the mall since July of last year and it's been a success. So it's ongoing every single day, um, but if you're coming up on Sunday, make sure you bring your K-Cups from your Keurig machines and Where we'll make they sure. They go to Lafarge. Ooh, so right, Lafarge right. is the only um, company in Western Canada actually takes K-Cups to recycle in, uh, in a way that's beneficial. Um, mm -hmm. It keeps it out of the landfill. So mm -hmm. since we've been doing the program, like July to January of last year, I think we collected about 1,500 pounds of K-Cups. And in the last three months, three months only of this year, we've collected over 4,000 pounds of K-Cups. Can you imagine? Yeah. So it's crazy. So every, every cup counts. Um, so if you have it, then bring them in. Awesome. Uh, and we'll keep them out of the landfill. And yeah give them to Lafarge. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so on top of that, of course, uh, okay, so this is shots of the recycling. So basically, yeah, this, this is, is recycling the from last year. Yeah. Uh, last year, we collected, we only did the event for two hours last mm -hmm. year, and it was mm -hmm. about 1,500 pounds of electronic waste that we collected. And so it's four hours this year from 11 to 3. That's good. good. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, Halloween, of course. Uh, you yeah. guys always put on such great things for the yeah. little ones. It's uh, going to be a lot of fun. So mm -hmm. it's our trick-or-treat extravaganza. We've already purchased all of our candy. We have about 
over 30,000 pieces of candy waiting to be distributed. That's awesome. And that's not even including what the tenants are purchasing. So mm -hmm. the tenants are asked to purchase a small quantity to get them through the first like 10 minutes. Right. <laughs> and then uh, we supplement with the rest. But um, it's always a huge event, as you can tell from the photos here. Mm -hmm. uh, Canlet's Princess Parties comes out dressed up in, the pr in their princess characters uh, to do meet and greet with the children. Um, our team dresses up um, and we encourage all the tenants and the retailers to dress up and to decorate as well. And it's just a fun, safe environment to do a trick-or-treating with your little ones. Yes. Um, it's a two-hour period and it's probably outside of Christmas, like the busiest two hours that we will ever have at the mall. Mm -hmm. And it is so much fun. Yeah. It's great. And great for the very littlest ones who might not want to go out at nighttime or whatever else. Yeah, right? absolutely. It's, it's and, popular. Yeah, and part of this program too, we ask those that are coming to bring a, just a single one one piece of non-perishable uh, food items and that benefits the food bank. Awesome. Um, and then in addition to this year, we have a little bit of a bonus too where we're going to try doing a Halloween photo uh, booth. So you can take a photo with you as with your little ones and for um, a donation, it's online photos. That part of those proceeds will go back to the Kamloops Food Bank. Mm -hmm. So something a little bit different this year that we haven't done. I'm sure the Kamloops Food Bank is very appreciative of all yeah. these things. So we love having great. them. It's great. Awesome, Bryn. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Uh, again, if you're looking at taking little ones, it's 2 until 4 on Monday, the 31st of Halloween. Mm -hmm. uh, you can certainly phone the phone number on the screen if you have any questions about that. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.